Hello, this is Oliver Lucanis, Conservation Ambassador for Fluval. Today I would like to get a look at angelfish and give you some tips on keeping them the right way. Our modern aquarium angelfish are color variants of one species, the silver angelfish, or Pterophyllum scalari. The best way to recognize them is by the head profile, because each angelfish species has a slightly different body shape. Scalari is also the most widespread angelfish in South America. They are basically found in all the countries where our aquarium fish come from, not just in the Amazon, but also in the Guyanas, marked here in white. The silver angelfish vary quite a bit from location to location, have more green on their flanks or red on their forehead and upper body. When they are collected in the Guyanas or Suriname, they often have red spots on their flanks. The silver angelfish are found in slow moving rivers, lakes and slack water channels all over the Amazon lowland, but never in huge numbers. They are found in the same kind of habitats as Festivum, Heros, Satanoperca and many other cichlids. They like fallen trees because these complex structures created by the branches give them plenty of cover from predators. Since they are not fast fish, they rely on camouflage and ability to make tight turns around the branches. Keeping wild silver angels is actually easier than most of the fancy angelfish. They are hardy cichlids and you just want to make sure the fish are eating well when you pick them up and that you keep them with fish that do not dominate them or take all their food. I like the larger tetras like bleeding hearts or black phantoms with them. Avoid mixing wild angelfish with tank raised ones because the wild ones are a little bit more aggressive. I would recommend an aquarium of about 65 gallons or more but you could add tetras, a dwarf cichlids, a corridoras, and some plecos in there without any trouble. The second angelfish rarely gets talked about, the teardrop angelfish, or Pterophyllum leopoldi. Their distribution is the smallest. They are found only in central Brazil, where the Rio Negro joins the main branch of the Amazonas, and in some spotty locations down towards the mouth of the Amazon. Their head profile is much less steep than the silver angelfish and on their back one of the stripes shows like a black teardrop shaped spot. When they get older they almost look like a flag cichlid. They stay a bit smaller than the silver angels and you see them offered very rarely. It is a very beautiful fish that is definitely worth looking for. The third angelfish is the much misunderstood altum angelfish or Pterophyllum altum. It is easy to recognize by the very steep head profile and beak-like snout. It only occurs in the upper Rio Negro and upper to middle Orinoco. It does not occur in Peru at all, even though people like to use the name Peru Altum when they try to sell the common silver angelfish. The Altum angelfish is by far the largest species, and they can get 16 inches high with their fins extended. This species is rarely bred in the aquarium, and so the fish available on the market are wild caught. That is not a problem, but many of them are collected in blackwater rivers with very soft water that is extremely acidic, with a pH of around 5. If these fish are put in harder and more alkaline water somewhere along the way, they easily get sick, and like most fish from such extreme habitats, they are very sensitive to disease and rarely recover. Altum angels do occur in clearwater habitats with a pH closer to neutral. Those are much hardier, but also more expensive and hard to find. When buying Altum angels, make sure that you're getting fish that are well acclimated and eating well. Altum angelfish are really not beginner's fish and need plenty of room and good water conditions. I hope some of you will give the original wild forms of our angelfish a try. They may not be as colorful as some of the aquarium strains, but their behavior is much more cichlid-like and they are great fish for the biotope aquarium. Make sure to subscribe this channel and have a look at my channel and see you next time.